girl Samantha welcome back to my channel if you haven't done so already please do your girl a favor and hit the subscribe button below so you get to see the rest of my videos on my channel I also post new videos every Thursday so don't miss out so today I'm filming my very first camera review and it took me a while to convince myself to do this because I'm no camera whiz or anything like that but I figured why not I've been using my new Canon G7X PowerShot for about close to a year. I got it earlier this year and I use my camera so much. It's basically my third arm. Um, I use it for photos, for my Instagram account, my blog, and for my YouTube videos. So I've actually been using my Nikon D3300 DSLR for about two years and I finally decided to add the Canon G7X Mark II to my collection. Because I travel quite a bit for work, I wanted a camera that was lighter, that I could put into my purse, that could fit, and that wasn't too bulky. And after shopping around for a little bit, I finally found a camera that I felt was great for photos, but also great if I wanted to do a lot more vlogs. So I took a really long time to research and looked around on YouTube and websites to really compare the Canon G7X Parashot against other point and shoot cameras like the Sony for example that was a really close contender when I was looking to get a new camera but I'm loving that I went with this. So obviously I already unboxed this beauty but for the sake of this video I will show you the box as well. So when I was shopping for the Canon camera, I did compare prices on Amazon, eBay, and London Drugs, which is a local Canadian drugstore, in case you guys don't know. They also sell electronics. And I finally got it at London Drugs because it was a tad bit cheaper and your girl is on a budget. Here I filmed my Hawaii travel vlog with this and my Japan travel vlog with this. And it's honestly gone to a point where I don't really bring my DSLR out anymore because this is just so easy to bring around and it's so easy to put in most of my purses. So when I was shopping for the camera, the flip screen was probably the biggest and most important feature I was looking for. And uh, I was initially concerned with the sound quality, but after testing this out with vlogs and a lot of my videos are actually just filmed with this, one thing I didn't like is that there isn't a mic port at the top to put a Rode mic on, but I found that the inbuilt microphone actually sounds pretty good. So on that note, besides the flip screen and the inbuilt microphone, I did find I made a little mistake when I was filming my vlog when I was in the Sunshine Coast, um, but I watched a few videos and I found out that actually I was holding my camera wrong. I like to hold it like this, if you can see this is the back of the camera, like this, it's just so I'm making sure that I'm not blocking any of the microphone sound ports so you don't actually have a muffled sound when you play back. So on my Instagram account and my blog, I share a lot of the travel and fashion photos that I've also taken with the Canon G7X Mark II. I find that it's also really, really good to take photos as it takes it both in JPEGs and RAWs. Of course, with any other camera, you can of course set the adjustments to the camera on what settings you'd like it to be at. If you want to shoot in manual, there's that option as well, but it's pretty easy to use and there are a bunch of modes that you can try out. These are all the separate modes that you can use. There's also a touchscreen option for you guys to take photos with and that has to be one of my favorite settings on this camera as well because it's kind of idiot proof, especially if you're trying to get strangers um, to take photos for you. When I first bought this Canon, I also purchased a Gorillapod and it has helped so much as acting as a stand and a stabilizer. Now inside the camera, there is an inbuilt stabilizer as well, which makes filming very, very easy, especially if you're moving around and you're doing travel vlogs, but I find that it's way easier to film without it being too shaky by using this almost as a holder. So I'll film like this and it just makes things way more stable. In regards to sound quality, I want you guys to have a better idea of the difference between the sound quality. So right now I am filming with the Canon EOS 7, I believe? The EOS 70D with a Rode mic attached to it and I'm going to also be filming a little bit with the Canon G7X and put it side by side so you guys can actually hear what the sound sounds like or how it differs between a microphone and the inbuilt microphone. 
Hey guys, so right now I am filming with the Canon G7X so you can hear the difference in the quality of the audio by using just the inbuilt microphone with this camera as opposed to what I'm using to film this review video right now, which is with the Rode microphone. In a nutshell, I'm really happy that I went with this camera because it has been such a lifesaver. It has been so easy to use and I kind of wish there was more videos explaining how good this is for just regular day vlogs and photos. It's not crazy, of course, you can't really compare this to an expensive DSLR, but for the price, especially if you're on a budget, this does the trick and it does a great job at doing it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the review and the demonstration of the Canon G7X Mark II, um, and I hope it helps you make a more informed decision before you decide to buy a new camera to add to your collection. And if you haven't already, do your girl a favor and hit the subscribe button below. Don't forget to hit the bell icons as well so you always get notified when I have new videos. New videos every Thursday and I'll see you then. Bye!